Well, guys, um, this morning it's a blistery cold morning at minus 15, and uh, we're just going to take a look at um, the inside of my shop. This is Whole Shot Engine Works on Facebook. So, a little bit of snow here this year compared to all the other years that have been out here, but this is the original sign from my business that I had in Ontario. It was called Whole Shot Inc. But I carried the sign over and just changed the phone number on it, but I still kept the same phone number. But anyway, here we are. Here's my hours. Uh, I try to stay closed as much as possible, but that does not happen. So here we are coming in here. There's my famous dog, Lexi. Come on in, get in here. Here, here we are inside my little haven. This is a little lounge area I've got for myself, for the dog and for customers. So we come walking around here again. This is my engine room. Uh, there's one, two, three motors four motors that have to be built yet um, over here we have our my super flow flow bench every set of ported heads that I put on basically get flow tested so we go around here these are ongoing jobs from all over Alberta the shelf is full and those are basically just uh, engine jobs as well so coming in here um, we have a big bear chopper that's under a blanket right now that we're doing for a friend of mine. We've got my shovel head that's up for sale again. It looks like I got uh, a little bit stiffed on the, on the deposit on this guy. I've never seen him or heard from again. It's been over a month, so this bike is going back up for sale. Uh, we've got a, a Dyna here with a 120R in it that I reported the heads and put a 2 into one um, Borzilla on it. There's a chopper that I'm building that uh, is going to be going up for sale. Most of you guys that follow the page basically have seen the bike, but that'll be going up in the summer for sale. Uh, the new lathe, the milling machine that I bought there a couple of weeks ago. So down here is one of my dynos. This bike came in yesterday. That was a scheduled event. Yeah, street Glide with a 110 in it. So I'm going to be doing a air box on this that it never got, I don't know why, but it's got a two into one Reinhardt on it, so I'm gonna change the air box, put a super tuner to it, and give her a tune. I'm gonna start on that today. Over here, I've got a set of Evo heads that I'm porting for a 96 uh, Dyna Lowrider. You can see the stock porting on there is nice and round compared to the ported head where it's all knife edged and being ported, but I've still not done that head. So coming back over here, this is the Dyna Wide Glide that I'm doing the motor on, uh, 80 cubic inch, uh, boarded out, only needed 5 thou over, put a set of 10 and a halfs in it with an Andrews EV27 cam. And also a Thunder Header is going on that. This is the Fat Bob that I had on the Dyna last week. This originally was a 103 with a set of my heads on it. We changed it out and put a set of uh, 110 cylinders and a set of ported Screaming Eagle 110 uh, heads on it. So that one is done. Uh, he wants tires put on it now. This other one here, this is in for a stage one uh, air box, uh, two into one fat cat by D&D. &D. And I'm in the midst of doing a set of bars. Some of you guys seen some of the postings on there where these bars were a pain in the ass, but they are wired sitting over there. So they'll hopefully be going on next week. Now, when I first started this business, uh, about two and a half years ago, the first six months, I ran out of room. So I built this addition room in here and never ever got around to finishing it. Still have to do the insulation on the ceiling. But I'm glad I built this room because this is the waiting room. And as if you can see, everything that's sitting in here uh, there's a couple of bikes that are done, but most of them are waiting to be done. There's a 124 Ultra sitting down on the end. There's a custom road glide here with a 103 belt motor in it that's in for tuning as well. Uh, I've got this new street glide with an M8 in it, so that's in for tuning. And I've got this beautiful little 1981 shovel head that showed up the other day. Um, he's way on the list at the bottom of the list, but 
that'll get addressed too as well. We've got this little iron head here that I'm still waiting for some transmission parts to came in. I've got a custom here that I'm doing for a guy in Fort Mac. I got another custom I'm doing under here for a guy in Ontario. And behind those black doors um, is a dyno, another dyno room that I'm building and it's going to be specifically for trikes. So I bought this, I think it was six months after I started into the business. I never got a room around to finish in the room, but I will be making time this summer or this spring to get her done. So this is a Dynajet 168. It will do trikes and bikes. So a lot of trike people have been bugging me about this, but I'm sorry, but uh, when it's busy, I have to do my job. So as you can see that uh, the inside of whole shot is a busy place to come. You guys that I told you in the beginning of the winter to book your bikes in here, and some have snoozed, but uh, you could, as you can see, I didn't lie. I am a busy guy, and I'll do the best I can for you, and I will make sure that they are correct before they leave. So, uh, and once again, got to let you go, but this is another view inside a whole shot. Engine works. Everybody have a good day.